Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my studio. I have a really cool painting to share with you this week. It's called San Eland and it's inspired from uh, some rock art in South Africa. The series that I'm doing right now is all inspired from fossils and cave paintings, rock art, all that cool natural history. <laughs> of years ago. What do we have in common? It seems to be that art is a common factor that people have used over the years to not only show how they feel but also to gather power um, to themselves and to give it away to other people. Um, apparently these rock art paintings were done um, not only to gather power from the rocks themselves but to describe the experiences that the shaman would have on these spirit journeys. So, come with me on a journey. First, I'm going to do some underpainting with some colors that I like for different reasons. Yellow, for me, is sunshine and joyful and bright and warm and maybe <laughs> maybe I'm feeling this because I'm painting it in the sunshine and it's very hot so there's my little sunshine and green for me uh, is one of our colors I find myself wearing green a lot and it has a very calming effect uh, it symbolizes the natural world uh, it su supposedly relieves stress which we could all use <laughs> um, and it's a symbol of fertility as well so I'm sticking it in there that would be good colors to show through now I'm getting ready to do my texture with some wood putty I'm mixing it up here and I gotta mix really fast because this stuff dries in about five minutes so I have to do small batches at a time so when I get the consistency I want I go for it I uh, gotta move fast. I did the shape of the eland with the wood putty. It's that nice tan color and I'm moving around with some burnt sienna colored wood putty to add in some more texture and color. Mm -hmm. This painting particularly I found to be inspiring but for a couple reasons. First of all, I like the way an eland looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Second of all, turns out the eland is a sacred animal to the San people, Bushmen of South Africa. Apparently the shamans, after they killed an eland, the spirit door would be open and they went into a trance dance, got out of the body. It was this beautiful spiritual ritual that they have. What's really cool, I think, about the whole thing is that they were using art um, to show their spiritual experiences and for me I think art is very transcendental it's sort of a meditation uh, that's why I fell in love with it uh, find it to be a really great time it, to process the way that you feel to open yourself to new ideas and certainly that's what they did so I'm gonna walk around with my camera and show you some close-up views in this painting where you can really see the texture right here in the antlers this is good lighting this is out in the sunlight so these colors are really true and clear and you can see the underpainting the yellows and the greens showing through uh, and a little bit of blue over here and where the burnt sienna has mixed with the natural tones in the wood putty and uh, the surface actually has a really great uh, sense of being rock and very you just want to reach out and touch it so uh, I'm very happy with this outcome 
So what else would you guys like to know? If you have any questions, concerns, issues, let me know. Write me. Send me an email. So I hope you guys had fun with me. I had fun with you. <laughs> I'll see you next week.